guys. It is officially day, is this day four? I'm losing track, but it is June 1st and I woke up and I just had a bright idea. I think I might watch the Q movie because in the VNL, I've been seeing all these advertisements that it's, it's gonna be released in the United States on May 31st. And because I'm gonna take the morning off, I thought it might be a good time to actually watch the movie. Adult supervision required. Is there nudity? This one hand technique is not going well. Dude, I have the entire theater to myself. Wow, where do I begin? I think I mentioned earlier. If you're enjoying this video, please click that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to help grow this channel. You can also join our channel memberships for early access to our videos, behind the scenes content, and more members only perks. Thank you for supporting Elevate Yourself. So I was driving to the Lowe's Hotel to try to do an interview with PME Volleyball Christian and it just started raining heavily all of a sudden. So I gotta wait for the rain to die, the lights to turn green before I run across. And now all of a sudden it's just sprinkling now. It was like pouring rain earlier. Yeah, this weather in Arlington or probably Texas in general is pretty, pretty wild. All right, as I was saying earlier, Christian from PME Volleyball was kind enough to do a short interview where I just like to ask people how they got into volleyball, why they keep playing, and how he got started with his amazing social media following. And I think it's really good to hear stories. Like I, I love telling stories, I love sharing stories. I think those are much more inspirational than just information. And I think it could inspire a lot of people to start something for themselves that they're passionate about. And we all start in the same place with nothing. And as long as you enjoy it, then it's worth it. Thank you. Man, I'm telling you, this hotel smells so nice. I feel like they just spray perfume and cologne everywhere. So we chose this hotel because it's a nice, quiet space over here with really great outdoor lighting and comfortable seating. And this is actually where he interviewed me for his vlog, so make sure you check that out where he asked me a lot of fun volleyball questions as well. My parents wanted me to be athletic or wanted me to stay in good shape and go do something athletic. So yeah. they decided that, hey, maybe we'll try volleyball. So when I got the tattoos, they are done in South Korean. This one says Psalms 121.2. And this one says, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So it's the reference and then the verse. I kind of was encouraged by some family friends to maybe explore creating volleyball content. Mm. And I was, I never really thought of doing that before. I. So I didn't realize on the back side of the bus was Nekoma. This is so sick. Wow, I mean those illustrations. This makes me want to draw again. If I had more time, I would love to draw. Look at these scratchy lines. I love it. The energy of the motion. It's so cool to see the next generation of volleyball content creators and fans. Look at that line for him. This is so awesome. This US crowd is gathering. This is so cool. Now I know why they have a media entrance because there's no way I can get them through the front door. Wow, look at all these USA fans getting their merch.
a tough loss, man. The USA fought so hard, but Poland, they just kept grinding and won the big rallies and passed really well. That's tough. One thing I love about watching Poland is they always got fans everywhere. everywhere. Volleyball is such a big sport in their country, and they played really well tonight. If you want to jump higher and become a more dominant athlete on the court, then use my Elevate Jump Training programs to increase your vertical jump. They include a bodyweight only program so you can train with zero equipment, a starter program if you're new to weight training and plyometrics, and the elevation template which guides you over 12 months of intense training and comes with a mobile training app. Use my discount code and link below to get 5% off all my training programs and start jumping higher today. All right, we got beans and meat, mac and cheese, this pickled cucumber. Looks like grilled chicken. I think this is pork. <laughs> A lean brisket. Mm. Oh, a lot better than... It definitely beats more than half of what I've had. We have one more match to go between Bulgaria and Serbia. It's been, it's only my second match of the day, but it's just been a long tournament. Usually I stay after the games for some interviews, but I think I really just want to focus on USA and maybe Turkey, but I want to get a chance to talk to as many USA players before I leave the VNL. And today, feeling a little soft in my gut, and I think that's partly because I've been enjoying a little bit of dessert and mac and cheese and rice. Sometimes when I feel a little soft, I like to just go for a jog and also sitting all day in the media center recording and typing questions and you know, there's a lot of sitting at these events and, and standing, not a lot of movement. So sometimes just going for a jog at nighttime really helps loosen up my body too. I like to get a little bit of a sweat and then stretch down uh, before I get ready for bed. I'm usually not a fan of treadmills because I like to run outside and enjoy some fresh air and just be outdoors. But it's been a little humid and swampy <laughs> in Texas. So that means the mosquitoes are out and Mosquitoes love this Asian blood here and I get bit pretty bad so I'm grateful for this treadmill. And I like to listen to different podcasts. For this one I'm going to be listening to the Sandcast interview of Eric Shoji. This one's been really good so far. This was the first weekend where USA is playing and definitely met the most number of fans. Today took lots of photos, which is always fun to get to know people from different parts of the country. I even met someone from Honduras who came just to watch this, so that was awesome. And started off the day on a good note of watching the Haikyuu movie, so I can't wait for you guys to check out that separate vlog about my reaction to watching it in the movie theaters by myself. And then being able to watch a really great game between the USA and Poland. And I think Poland is currently ranked number one in the BNL, so they're really hot right now. And USA has been experimenting with new players and they have not finalized their Olympic roster yet, so they're kind of in a funny place. I always a firm believer that, yes, we would have loved for USA to win, but 
We want to be battle tested early. And I think that's what the coaching staff is trying to do is see who is ready, see who can pass the stress test when things get tough. How do they react to that? Because you don't want to peak too early. You want to peak at the Olympics because I think the women's team is already qualified. Tomorrow, I actually might only attend one game, which is the USA versus Turkey game. And that one should be cracking because the Turkish fans, as you saw, are awesome and then we filled the stands with the USA fans so it's gonna be super hype and I'm pretty sure USA is gonna to try to put their their strongest lineup there just because it's gonna be Turkey and I'm really hoping that I'm gonna get the call from coach Karch Karai to call me and summon me for the practice in the morning my shoes are ready they're in the trunk and I've been staying in shape but if not of course I'm always still gonna support them from the sideline and you know what I've been thinking about all day is Hurtado barbecue, no joke. So I'm actually probably gonna go there one more time and get another two pounds of meat, maybe two and a half pounds, so I can eat that for lunch and then eat that for dinner when I get back because this is gonna be the last time that I get this delicious Texas barbecue. And I'm just so grateful that they have a, a gym here with dumbbells and I've been able to stay in pretty good shape so far as I travel. And you know when we're traveling, it's really hard to eat healthy because all we have access to is whatever food they give us, which is usually high in fat, high in sugar, but I've been trying to minimize my sugar intake. Um, except for today, they have some really yummy dessert and a really good mac and cheese that I, I wanted to just indulge in, but other days, mostly meats and vegetables and uh, the lower carbohydrate side. And especially since when I'm shooting these vlogs and in the media zone, I'm not moving around very much. I'm either sitting or standing because I'm filming or writing or something like that. So I'm not very active and I definitely feel it. My body feels stiff. And I think my body's still covering from the USAV national trip where you know I played for three days in a row. Looking forward to sleeping in again tomorrow and just focusing all my energy on a great USA game and some great USA interviews. All right, I had to check before I went to sleep. They open at 11, so I'm showing up at 11 because I'm already craving it. Of course, I had to browse the, the food pictures and definitely gonna go no carb. Not because carbs are bad, but if I'm gonna, I, I either wanna do high fat or high carbs. So I'm gonna do high fat since I'm eating a lot of the, the fatty meats and this street corn was really yummy. So I'm debating whether I should just eat more meat or eat more street corn or some other side. Let me know in the comments what I should do or what recommendation you have for my third day of indulging in Hurtado Barbecue.